I ordered $340 worth of fishing gear for only $85 from China to see if it's good or junk. Welcome to the channel guys. Today I want to show you some of the cheapest fishing gear I have ever found from a website called Timu.com. I ordered 20 pieces of fishing gear from Timu and in this video we're going to compare the Timu fishing gear to products that you would find at Bass Pro Shops. We're going to see how it stacks up in terms of quality and price. With Timu you can order through the website or you can order through the mobile app. When I made my order for the fishing gear it took over 10 days to arrive. I think the shipping takes a little bit longer because all of the gear is coming from China. It comes from China. With some of the Timu fishing products, the quality was mediocre, but I was really surprised at how good some of them actually were. Let's take a look at them. The first piece of fishing gear I wanna make sure I had in my Timu fishing gear order, of course, was a fishing rod and reel. So this is a spinning rod and reel combo that I got for $22. Now I checked the website the other day and this dropped all the way down to $16, which is unbelievable. I don't even understand how they can manufacture the rod and the reel and get it shipped to your house for $16, but they did and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Now keep in mind this is a travel rod, so it does break down into four different pieces, which helps them for the shipping, but when you put the rod together, it all fits together pretty nicely and so far I'm really impressed with it. I used it about four times. Now it is a little bit of a lighter rod here. You can see there's a lot of bend in it, especially in the tip. So I'm not super happy about how soft the tip of this rod is, but overall, it's a pretty good rod. The reel, I'm especially impressed with. The reel, it works really, really good. It's really smooth. The, you can adjust the drag very precisely. So you, know, you can loosen it up a couple clicks, tighten it up a couple clicks, and you really do feel the difference in the drag. So the drag has been working really well so far. The handle, pretty bare bones. You have this little soft, uh, tip on the end there, the butt of the rod's very soft, and where you hold it, you know, it's got just enough cushion to it. So very bare bones rod, but for $22 or for actually $16, I'm actually really impressed with this. It's a really nice rod. I've caught a few fish on it so far, nothing big, um, but I'll definitely use this in the future and I will unfold this and keep this in the car or something. Great travel rod. Now at Bass Pro Shops, the closest equivalent I could find to this was an Ugly Stick GX2 spinning rod combo set and that came in at $69. So if you were to go to Bass Pro and get, you know, the closest equivalent to this would be $69 or you can get this off Timu for $22, sometimes even $16, which is phenomenal. So so far I'm really impressed with the Timu fishing rod and uh, you know, go check it out, links below. Timu spinning rod and reel did not come with any line. So of course the next thing that I put in my shopping cart from Timu was some braided fishing line. I got this roll of braided fishing line for $1.34. This roll is 109 yards of braided fishing line. I ordered it in 25 pound test and in the green color. You can get it in different colors and you can get it in different lengths and also of course you can get it in different test weights. I like to use the 25 pounds. It's a little bit strong for that light rod. When I order braided, I like to order a little bit stronger um, just so I get the braid a little bit thicker so I can see it and deal with it a little better because braided line is just so thin. It so far has been pretty good. The one thing that I'm not very happy with this braided line is it's a little bit rough. And so when it's going through the guides on the rod, seems to be making a little bit more noise than usual. So when I use other more name brand, Power Pro and whatever, it, it's a lot smoother. So for some reason, this braided line does feel a little bit rough, but for $1.34, I think it's a pretty good deal. Now the closest equivalent I could find on Bass Pro Shops is the Bass Pro Shops Excel braided fishing line that comes in at $9.99 for 125 yards. So it's more expensive. You do get a little bit more from the Bass Pro line. Now I can't really speak to the quality of the Bass Pro line because I haven't used it yet, but $1.34 versus $9.99 at Bass Pro Shops. While I was looking at fishing gear on Timu, I kept seeing some very interesting looking spinner bait. So I decided I had to order one. So this is the spinner bait that I got for $2.17 off of Timu. Pretty decent. I got it in the green and yellow color. It's got two spinners on the end here. One's a little bit larger than the other and it's got a nice big hook on it here. Uh, weighted head on it, pretty good looking eye. Pretty good detail, especially in the skirt here. Also up in the eye, the eye and the coloring on here 
it all looks high quality so far. Um, I did use it in my pond. I have not caught any fish off the spinner bait yet, but while I was using it in the pond, the action felt really good. It runs through the water really well. And the, the little spinner spoons, they spin around really nicely. So haven't caught any fish with this yet, but so far I'm pretty impressed with the quality of it. It does match up very well to the spinner bait that I already had. This is a spinner bait I bought from Bass Pro maybe about six months ago. I think I paid $11 for this spinner bait. Now you can see on this spinner bait, the spoons are a little bit bigger, but the weighted head and the hook is about the same size. Skirt's a little bit longer in parts of it, but overall the quality looks pretty similar. So, you know, I'm so far I'm pretty impressed with this spinner bait. Now, looking at BassProShops.com, the most equivalent spinner bait I could find to this spinner bait in terms of weight and size came in at five dollars and ninety nine cents. Now, I have not used that particular spinner bait, so I can't speak to the quality, but I can say that the quality of this spinner bait for two dollars and seventeen cents is quite impressive. While I was ordering fishing lures on Timu, I had to make sure to order my favorite type of fishing lure, which are rattle traps. So I ordered two different rattle traps here. These rattle traps cost $1.87 each on Timu. So very cheap. I ordered it in two different colors, the silver, and I ordered in the silver and blue. These are my two most common colors that I use here in Florida. I can reliably catch big peacock bass, and largemouth bass as well using rattle traps. So see, these are some of my favorite and most fun lures to use. Now these ones from Timu, um, they're a little bit larger than I had expected. So I thought for $1.87, I was gonna get a tiny little, you know, small dinky little rattle trap, but these are pretty big, maybe a little bit bigger than I would have hoped for. They do have good rattles in them. They do make a lot of noise when they're traveling underwater. So that's pretty good. Now. One thing I don't really like is the tie-off positioning on the rattle trap. I don't know what the deal is, but for some reason, when you're pulling these through the water, they want to dive a little bit lower than the rattle traps that I'm used to before, um, like the Rapala rattle trap or the Bass Pro Shop rattle trap. And then also sometimes it, these seem to get a little bit off center. So if you're moving left and right, trying to work the rattle trap around something, sometimes the pull gets off center, the rattle trap will go sideways for a bit and then it'll straighten out again. So it's not the best action underwater, but it will work. I mean, judging by how these went through the water, I'm pretty sure that I could catch some peacocks or some largemouth bass off these rattle traps. But um, I would say just use them in a straight line, not too much you know, turning side to side on the rattle traps. Um, really nice treble hooks, big sharp treble hooks on these things. And what I really am impressed with on these rattle traps is the detail. These things are very, very detailed. You can see the scales on them really nice. Look at the shine and the reflection on there and the detail on the rattle trap. Very, very impressive. This is the Bass Pro Shops rattle trap I normally use, the Bass Pro Tourney Special. This rattle trap was $3.49 versus the $1.87 for the Timu rattle trap. So take a look at the two of them there. Again, I like this Bass Pro one because it's a little bit smaller and I think that it has a little bit better action going through the water. But um, I definitely think that I could catch some really good peacocks and largemouth on the Timu rattle traps for $1.87. One handy piece of fishing gear to have in your tackle box is a fish lip holder. So this is a fish holder right here that I got off Timu for $2.78. Put your hand on it here, fingers right there, and it opens up. You can hook this right into the fish's mouth and it'll safely hold the fish like this so that you don't get bit by the fish's teeth and also it does hold on to the fish's lip in such a way that it doesn't damage the fish. I really like to have these, especially if you're fishing with kids or with new people who are maybe kind of afraid to lift up a fish, but they still want to hold the fish for a picture or something like that. This is a fish lip holder that I got a while back from Bass Pro Shops for $11.99. Similar design, the Bass Pro Shops one maybe has a little bit better build quality because it's got more stainless steel in it compared to the Timu all plastic body. Now the jaws on the Timu are metallic. Um, so it works just as good as the Bass Pro Shops fish lip holder. This one's got a longer tether on it, so the Bass Pro Shops one is definitely a better quality than the Timu one, but Timu $2.78 versus $11.99 from Bass Pro Shops. 
If you're fishing for bass, a great bait to use is a nice soft craw. So I got this six pack of soft craws for $2.97 off Timu. I ordered it in the green color here. When you're fishing for Florida for a largemouth bass, green for some reason is just a great color to use. I use green colored Senkos, green colored craws. But take a look at the craw. Craw's got a few legs hanging off the side, um, a nice good stiff center body there, and it's got its little uh, claws hanging off the end there. To be honest, I'm not very impressed with this craw. The craw, in my opinion, is a little bit on the small side. Also, its claws that are dangling out here are pretty small as well, and I don't think they produce a very good uh, motion underwater when compared to like a Guggen Kraken craw or something like that. Those things are awesome. This one, just in my opinion, it really doesn't stack up to other soft craws that I've used before. It does come in a six pack, and one weird thing is when I opened up this package, I noticed a terrible chemical smell to these. So I don't know if that would be a deterrent for the fish, but I almost think if you were gonna use this, you would need to get some fish attractant and soak these baits in fish attractant to get rid of the terrible chemical smell. So um, a lot of the Timu fishing lures I've been impressed with, this one I'm definitely not impressed with. And also to me, the price really isn't that good either. On Bass Pro Web Shops, $5.49 will get you a 12 pack of the Zoom Craw. So $5.40 for 12 versus $2.97 for six. So it's actually cheaper on Bass Pro Shops and probably the Bass Pro Shops Craw is probably a better quality than this Craw here. But if you had to get it, $2.97 for the six packs of craws from Timu. While I was ordering my Timu fishing gear set, I wanna make sure that I included a good chatterbait in there. So I saw this chatterbait on Timu's website. I put this in the order and I'm actually pretty impressed with this chatterbait. So you can see it's got the nice, I don't know what you call this, the deflector or the spoon up here. It's got the weighted head. Very good detail on the head. The eye looks really nice. The coloring, the shading, the detail on the head looks good. Skirt is very nice. Green, yellow, orange skirt. And it's got a nice, uh, good size hook on here. Check this hook out. So I think this is a pretty quality chatterbait. It has really good action in the water. Makes an excellent sound. You can hear that thing chattering away as you pull it through the water. Works as good as any of the chatterbaits that I've used before. So I'm actually pretty impressed with the Timu chatterbait. And of course, just like with the spinnerbait or the buzzbait, you can always go ahead and attach a craw on here as well to make this a little bit larger and give yourself a little more swimming action to your chatterbait. So keep in mind, you can always pair these type of baits with a craw or a swimming shad or something on the back of them. This is a chatterbait I got from Bass Pro a while back. I normally keep this one in the tackle box. Obviously it's the next size bigger than this chatterbait, but you can see the quality and the build of this is on par. I already have a, a shad attached to this one here. Now I think this one cost me about $11. Now looking on Bass Pro Shops, you can get an equivalent size and function to this chatterbait for about $4.99. So $4.99 from Bass Pro Shops or $2.06 for this chatterbait. I definitely think this chatterbait's worth it and I'm really looking forward to using this one out in the water a lot more. This product is by far my favorite Timu fishing gear product that I've ordered. I'm really, really impressed with this one. This is a performance fishing shirt. It's got a hood and it's also got a neck gaiter built right into it. It's really, really lightweight and comfortable. Keeps you very cool, wicks the sweat away. It claims to be a UPF 50, so it should protect you from the sun. Um, under your armpits here and in different parts, it's got like a vented mesh. So it really does keep you cool. I've been using this out in probably 100 degree weather. I've been on the water with it. Um, it's just excellent if you're gonna be sweaty and really, really hot. What's nice is the hood, protects the back of your neck and of course the neck gaiter you can pull it up over your mouth and your nose to protect keep your skin you know completely out of the sun because if you're gonna be out fishing a long time in the sun really important to protect your skin especially in places like florida where i'm at so i'm really impressed with this so far this thing only cost 22 dollars so that's a great price for this fishing shirt this hook fishing shirt that i normally wear here cost me over $60. It does have a hood, 
but it doesn't have the neck gaiter built into it and it doesn't have the venting in the armpits like this one does. So this one is actually, I think this is a superior quality to this expensive hook fishing shirt. And the most equivalent thing that I could find on Bass Pro to this that has a hood and a neck gaiter built into it was a $99 fishing shirt. So I think from Timu for $22 for a high performance fishing shirt like this versus $99 from Bass Pro Shops is an incredible value. I've used this a whole bunch and I'm really, really impressed with this. I think this entire Timu order was worth it just to get this shirt. If you're fishing areas that have heavy weeds or lily pads, if you're fishing for bass, or if you're fishing the bank for snakeheads like we do here in Florida, you're gonna to wanna to use a nice soft frog like this. So this is a nice soft top water frog. This thing came in at a dollar and 47 cents. So it's got a nice lighter white underbelly here. It's got a weight in the back, so the frog will track and always stay in the upright position. And it's got two nice little skirts for legs here on the back of the frog. If you squeeze the frog down, you can see the hooks there. Um, hooks probably are on the little bit smaller side for a frog like this, but I think they're they're pretty decent. So for a dollar forty-seven, decent price for this frog. The equivalent frog on Bass Pro Shops was a little bit over seven dollars. So over seven dollars for a frog on Bass Pro Shops and a dollar forty-seven for this frog here. So that's a pretty good value, and I am impressed with the quality of this frog. It's got good detail. Um, the painting on the side is good, the eyes, everything looks pretty good. I did use this frog, haven't caught anything on it yet, but it does travel through the water pretty nicely. So I'm actually happy with this Timu frog. This is a nice topwater popper that I got off Timu for a dollar and 17 cents. So check this out, topwater popper. It's got incredible detail on it, nice eye, um, good graphics on the side, scales, good reflection to it. Two treble hooks, nice topwater popper. What's unique about this one, it's got these little passageways in the front and the mouth here. So when you actually go ahead and pull this to pop it, it shoots these little jets of water on the side and on the top. And this thing really does make a ruckus on top of the water here. I don't use topwater poppers very much, so I haven't really had a chance to use this and catch any fish with it yet. I just use it in the pond to test out the action. Now on Bass Pro Shops, you can get an equivalent popper like this for about $2.99. So if topwater poppers are your thing, definitely check out the $1.17 topwater popper from Timu. When you're out fishing on the water, it's really nice to have polarized sunglasses. So I got these polarized sunglasses off Timu for $4.38, which is an incredible price for polarized sunglasses. I've used these several times now and they work very good. They have a great tint to them, so they're excellent and very, very bright sunlight. The polarization works decent too, allows me to see in the water. Probably not as good as some of the other polarized glasses that I've used, but for $4.38, I think the polarization on them is good enough. The quality on them is seems to be okay. It's, it's not the best. I mean, these you know probably are the equivalent of like cheap gas station glasses, but they are polarized which is nice. Um, they don't have a frame on the bottom and the lenses do feel a little bit thin and plasticky. So I would be careful. These probably would get scratched pretty easy, but for $4.38, you know, these are actually pretty nice to buy. Maybe keep a pair in the tackle box, keep a pair in the car, something like that. They do come with a carrying case here. So you can keep them in there, keep them protected, and they're always ready to go. Now the only equivalent sunglasses I could compare these to on Bass Pro Shops were the native eyewear polarized sunglasses that came in at $40. Now I haven't got my hands on those to test them. I'm imagining the quality is probably much better on the Bass Pro Shops native eyewear for $40. But for $4.38, this is an excellent pair of polarized sunglasses to keep around when you need them. I got these really nice weighted soft swim baits off Timu for $3.37 for a pack of five. These are weighted, they have a pretty good weight to them. They've got a treble hook on the bottom and they've got a standard hook in the top and they're made out of rubber. They got a really nice uh, rubber tail on them that moves really good through the water. It's got very, very good action to it. Really, really nice lifelike eye. And I think this is a really good color. It looks like, um, you know, almost like a shiner or shad or something like that. So I think this would be excellent for a wide variety of fish. 
Um, the weighting on it is really good, really drops down in the water really nicely. I'm really happy with these. You can cast them out really, really far because of the weight. And then when you pull them through the water, you can pull them through the water pretty quick and they have a really good swimming action to them. An equivalent lure like this at Bass Pro Shops costs $3.49 for just one. So if you wanted to get five of something like this from Bass Pro Shops, it would be over $17. So that's an incredible value for these. So the soft swim bait, great value from Timu and also a great quality. I'm really impressed with this lure that came from Timu. This is an inline spinner that cost a dollar and seven cents. So it's an inline spinner. I used to call these a peacock feather or a rooster tail. So it's basically a treble hook. It's got a tiny little skirt on it there, a little body, and it's got a little spinning spoon in the front of it there. This one from Timu has incredible, incredible detail on it. You can see it's got the reflection of the scales, the dots, the colors on this thing are just top notch phenomenal. So I'm really impressed with the quality of this inline spinner for a dollar and seven cents. An equivalent spinner like this off Bass Pro costs $3.49. So I would say if you're looking for an inline spinner, this is definitely the way to go. And they had a lot of different options for different colors and designs of this inline spinner. Take a look at this buzz bait I got from Timu for a dollar and 87 cents. So it's got a nice weighted head on it. It's got great detail on the head, a really nice eye, got a nice good big hook, pretty good full skirt. Uh, the skirt could have a little more strands in it, maybe be a little bit more full than that, but it's okay. And then the buzzer on the front, really nice action to it. This makes a lot of noise going through the water. And of course you can always pair this with a craw or a swimming shad on the hook to give this a little more action uh, in the tail underwater. So, so far I'm pretty impressed with this buzz bait. Haven't caught any fish off of it yet, but I'm definitely gonna use this the next time I go out fishing for largemouth bass. A comparable buzz bait from Bass Pro Shops would cost $4.49. This buzz bait cost $1.87 off Timu. So I'm not a big buzz bait guy. I do need to get this out in the water more and test it out a little bit more. But so far, I think the quality is pretty good for something that costs $1.87. In my fishing tackle box, I've never had a good jerk bait before. So when I saw this jerk bait for $1.67 on Timu, I had to order it. Now I don't have much experience with jerk baits, but this one looks like it's very, very well built. The detail on it is really, really nice. You can feel the scales on it. Um, the color scheme on it looks very, very realistic and lifelike. Has a really good eye on it that looks lifelike as well. Three treble hooks on this thing. This is a little bit bigger jerk bait. I see a lot of jerk baits come with two trebles. This one is three, so it is a little bit larger and it's got a nice spoon on the front there. So as you jerk it through the water, it gets a nice crazy motion underwater. The equivalent jerk baits that I saw on Bass Pro Shops were $10.99. So $1.67 from Timu jerkbait or 10.99 for a Bass Pro jerkbait, you be the judge. One of the most important tools you wanna to have in your fishing tackle box is a good set of pliers. I got this set of fishing pliers off Timu for $5.48. Very, very good price. Nice, thin and long. You can reach in there into the fish mouth, get out hooks. It's got different spots for crimps on it here, which I don't ever, ever use crimps, but it's there in case you need it. It's got a really cool like a uh, rainbow pattern on it. Now I'm not sure if this is stainless steel or just like a regular steel. So in the long run, I don't know if this is gonna rust or how well it's gonna hold up, but the quality does look pretty good. It's got a really nice rubber lanyard on it. You can clip it to your belt. So if you drop it, you're not gonna lose your pliers. Um, got a little lock on it to keep them shut, open the lock, and they've got a really nice spring action to them. So good one-handed operation. Really nice soft handle that fits very well in the palm of your hand. So for fishing pliers, yeah, I mean, I think they're pretty decent for $5. And they even came with a nice belt loop uh, holster right here. So you can put these, you can keep them clipped right onto your belt loop at all times. So they're right there, ready to go. So the most equivalent pair of pliers that I could find on Bass Pro Shops cost around $18. So $5 for fishing pliers off Timu or $18 from Bass Pro Shops. 
When you're trying to cut or trim fishing line, it's much easier to use a pair of snips or scissors than it is to cut it with a regular knife. So I got this pair of line cutters for a dollar and seven off Timu. So it's almost like a tiny pair of scissors. It is pretty sharp. Now it does fold up and it fits like this. So it could go safely in your pocket or in your tackle box. It is really small, flips out and you've got your pair of scissors there. Now I do have a line cutter that I got from Bass Pro Shops and I much prefer the line cutter that I got from Bass Pro Shops. It's uh, the one from Bass Pro is much better at cutting braid. It's safer because it has a much shorter blade. This has a longer blade and I feel like this one has much more chance of stabbing you in the hand or something. So I like the Bass Pro Shops line cutter for $18. Works much better. Again, this is a dollar and seven off Timu. So it's very cheap, but I think in this case you do get what you pay for. I mean, if you had nothing else, um, this would work in a pinch. I'll, I'll probably keep this and store it in the tackle box anyway because it's so small. But in this case, I do prefer the Bass Pro Shops line cutter over the Timu line cutter for a dollar and seven cents. I got this weedless skirted jig for a dollar and seventy seven cents off of Timu. Take a look at it. It's got a pretty good quality. It's got a nice stiff brush here, the weed guard on it, a good hook. It's got a really, really nice looking skirt on it, and of course, a weighted head to it so um, you know pretty basic but a pretty good decent weedless jig head an equivalent weedless jig head like this off Bass Pro Shops is gonna be around four dollars and ninety nine cents so I think this is a pretty good value at a dollar and seventy seven cents haven't caught anything on this skirt yet but uh, I'm definitely gonna try this the next time I go bass fishing if you're gonna be fishing with soft baits like rubber worms Sankos or soft craws you're gonna want a good bent hook set. So this cost me a dollar and 25 for 10 hooks off of Timu. Pretty basic bent hook set. It's a two watt size hook, so a good size to it. And you know, really sharp, nice barb on it. I don't know how well they're gonna hold up in the long run. I don't know what material this is made out of, if it's stainless steel, carbon steel. So I'm not so sure how well it's gonna hold up in the long run, but if you wanna get started with some, you know, a really good basic hook, $1.25 will get you 10 of these. A Bass Pro equivalent would cost you $2.49 for six. So it is a pretty good value. So if you are putting an order in off Timu, it's worth to go ahead and throw a set of these hooks in the order. Drop a comment below and let me know which piece of Timu fishing gear impressed you the most. Let me know if you were surprised at the quality of the fishing gear or if you think it's just cheap junk. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe for more great fishing videos like this. Thanks again guys, I'll see you in the next one.